is a book entitled In Dull Knife's Wake. And it was written by Vernon R. Maddox and Albert G. Maddox. Published by University Press. I guess that's upside down. And then the back. You can probably stop that enough to read it. Anyway. University Press. Copyright 2003 by Vernon Maddox. Introduction. Preface. Dedicated to Albert Glenn Maddox. Preface. Following along in Dull Knife's wake, nearly a century and a half after the events, I met at Fort Robinson curator Thomas R. Bucker of the Nebraska State Historical Society. He was superb in his explanation of events described in this work. The kindly people who ran the museum at Oberlin, Kansas, like all the people all over Kansas, gave us a warm welcome. Craig Cox, the director of the Rollins County Historical Society, Rollins County Museum at Atwood, Kansas, spent the better part of an afternoon going over detailed maps of the county. In Ashland, Kansas, then Soldier's Graves, we found a fascinating guide, Henry Ford, with whom we spent a fine afternoon bouncing over the back trails in Clark County. Don Goodnight in Mead, Kansas, explained the mystery of the lost town of Mead City. Thanks to Jim Rubo of Denver, Colorado, we were able to examine Corporal Sharn McFadden's hand-drawn map of the Battle of Punished Woman's Fork. Mrs. Martha Hagendorn Crass gave kind assistance from the Kansas Historical Society. It was the fond hope of my brother and I that she would help us create a national landmark at the site of the Scott County Battle of Punished Woman's Fork. The curators of the Fort Riley Museum, Kansas, the 45th Infantry Museum, Oklahoma City, and the Cherokee Strip Museum, Oklahoma, for their support. We thank Dull Knife's descendant, Andrew L. Sutkus from the Tongue River Reservation for sharing his family traditions and legends of his famous ancestor. I was fortunate to have had the support of many kind and thoughtful people who helped me find my way. Albert G. Maddox, my brother, uncovered details and endlessly walked the terrain around the Battle of Punished Woman's Fork. It was he who asked the pertinent question, who were these particular Cheyenne and why were they so desperate to escape the army? Albert's research, support, guidance, criticism, and encouragement makes him co-author. Dr. William T. Hagen at the University of Oklahoma scholarly counseled this work. Although I often exhausted his patience, I have tried to follow his directions when my abilities permitted. The body of the work, however, is my work alone. No one else should be blamed for errors in format or content. Vernon R. Maddox, Norman, Oklahoma, February 2003.